Keystone is one of Colorado's premier ski resorts, and if you know how to ride it, you're gonna have the most incredible time there, and that is why I'm gonna give you guys my five favorite runs at Keystone. Now, I have over a thousand days riding Keystone. I've been riding it for over 15 years, and I actually used to ride for them as a sponsored athlete before, you know, the Keystone incident. You, snowboard. So I know this mountain like the back of my hand and I'm gonna give you literally the runs that I use to get the most incredible, dreamy, powdery shots. The, the ones that you guys are like, where are you? Well, I'm gonna tell you where I am. And so if you're willing to go get it, you can. That being said, every single run that I'm about to share with you is a black diamond, but if you're kind of getting into them or you're kind of on the beginner level, the fifth best run that I'm about to mention is probably going to be within your wheelhouse. And that is, of course, Go Devil. Now, Go Devil is a black diamond run, but it is groomed and you can absolutely rip it. The reason why Go Devil is so fun and why it's on the list is it's super steep and it's like kind of tucked away. So it's normally not that busy. And if you want to get some speed and not get a speeding ticket, Go Devil is the run for you, an absolute ripper of a ski run. And of course, it's hidden underneath the Area 51 chairlift, so I go ride park all day, and then when I'm ready to close out the day, I just get the and get some speed underneath me. It's so much fun. So Go Devil comes in at number five. Run number four sits on the peak that you see from everywhere at Keystone, Independence Peak. It's the big white face mountain. It's like, if you're riding the front side, you're looking at this peak and you're wondering like, man, that'd be so sick to ride. I want to ride it. Well, guess what? You can if you take Tuith by Sea. It's one of the weirdest names I've ever heard for a run, but Tuith by Sea is an incredible run on Independence Peak. There's only two runs on it, Independence Face and 2 by C, technically the whole face is, is that. Now, if you want to ride this run, not only do you need to walk your happy self up there, but you also need to walk yourself out of Independence Bowl, which is a really rad place at Keystone that not a lot of people know about. But once again, I've been riding this place forever, so I've actually had the luxury of getting dropped off at a, by a snowcat on top of Independence Peak and getting to ride that run. But I've also got into splitboarding, and before they put in the Bergman Express, I was able to skin up there and go in there and hit that line. It was a super fun time. But now that they put in the Bergman Express, it's actually a lot easier now to get to this run. This was like a keystone gem that like you had to put a lot of work in to get to. Now you just gotta put a little less work in, but don't get me wrong. There's a lot of work to get to this run. But two if I see, one of the reasons why it's so special and why I think it's one of the best runs at Keystone is one, it's a big open face. It does kind of face the sun a lot and it gets wind stripped really bad. But if you catch it right, it's gonna ride really good. But you see it from everywhere at Keystone. So when you're riding up any of the chariots on the front side, you just be like, hey, you see that independent peak right there? I rode that. I've been up there, it's super sick. It's like ultimate Keystone bragging rights if you're like, yo, I've done two if by sea. All right, so what was that run? That right there is called Two If by Sea on Indie Face in Independence Bowl at Keystone. Another Keystone bragging right, and you'll see them all over Keystone Ski Resort, is an Evolution sticker. If you don't have one of these, snag one. We even have a ski version of all of our merchandise. Snag it, throw it on the side of your helmet, let everyone know you're part of Team Huckhouse. And if you're at Keystone, that's my main place where I go riding. I'm gonna come say it up to you guys if I see you rocking the sticker on the slopes. But seriously, thank you so much to all of you guys that are snagging the merch, the hats, the shirts, all that type of stuff before the season. If you got a new helmet, got a new board, make sure you grab an Evolution sticker so you're ready for the ski season. Now the third best to run at Keystone, of course it's gotta be an Outback run. We gotta get to the Outback. There's some really good riding back there. And personally, my favorite run on the Outback is Conquest because you gotta be able to go through the bowl gate. So it's gotta open up, but it's kind of in the beginning of that area. So a lot of people are either gonna hike all the way up or pay for the cat to go all the way up and drop into North or South Bowl. But if you are like, there's a, there's a nice little window where you're not dropping right away, but you're hiking just a little bit. And that's Conquest. If you drop right there. Not only are the trees super fun, it gets really steep and there's a lot of incredible riding right on that run of Conquest. Like really fun tree riding, kind of a goalie. You're ripping back and forth. I love that for a powder day, especially like right when the gate opens up. It's one of the best ways to get really good power lines untouched. Boom, let's get them. And then you can start going higher. And you only gotta walk like this much. Not like our fourth best run here at Keystone. You're gonna be walking a ton, because once again, we're going into Independence Bowl with Midnight Ride. This one has like a little bit of a cornice to the top of it. It absolutely rips. I was able to ride this with the powder cat skiing. And then once again, I went back in there with uh, the split boarding. Thankfully, once again, the Bergman Express cuts off half the time it takes to get into that area now. But if you go in there, you're gonna get an incredible ride. You're working your butt off 
to get out of there. So <laughs> be ready. That area closes at 1.30. So you gotta get in early and get out because you don't want it to close on you when you're out there too. But this section's nice and tucked away from the sun. It also is, it fills in with the wind and everything. So the snow in this zone is so nice. Now, if you're wondering like, dang, this dude knows a lot of runs at Keystone that I wasn't even thinking about. Well, because not only do I ride Keystone a lot, but I ride everywhere a lot. And if you guys wanna track my progress of riding every ski resort in the United States, you can check it out by going to resortskimaps.com. It's a resort map of every resort in the United States. All the green snowboards are where I've been. You can click on them, watch the videos there. It's really incredible. If you click on a red guy, that just means I haven't been there yet. So that means I'm coming to your ski resort eventually. And you can click the top right hand corner to see my upcoming schedule for the upcoming season. So you know where I'm gonna come riding and you can come rip with me at your resort. It's really fun. It's a really incredible thing that we do here on the channel. You can also hit subscribe too, because I'm gonna be ripping these runs at Keystone because I love going and riding them. And there is a 100% chance that I will absolutely be riding the number one best run at Keystone, and that is Crap Game. Tucked away in the windows, gotta put in the work. All of these runs, you gotta put in the work to get to them because like that is what makes them good. If you wanna ride the best of the best, well, you gotta put, you gotta be the best of the best. You gotta put in the work. And Crap Game is how I get literally untouched top to bottom lines. Whatever I want at Keystone, absolutely just ripping down, just getting the sickest lines, a bunch of fun rock drops and stuff in these areas as well. I love Keystone so much. It is such a slept on mountain because so many people just show up and ride the groomers, ride the front, go to the outback, and you're just like, you guys are missing out on so much of the radness that Keystone has to offer. And a lot of you guys didn't know until now, I just told you that. And I'm also gonna tell you, if you do come to Keystone, check out today's video sponsor, Summon Eek Tattoo, if you need to get a rad tattoo like I've gotten before. Summon Eek Tattoo is the place to get it. It's over in Silverthorne. My buddy owns it and he's really rad. Keystone Shredder as well. So with all that, Team of Callus, I hope you guys enjoyed these. These are my favorite runs. Don't go blow them out now, okay? But I, if you do find me on the mountain, I don't mind sharing and showing. It's a really fun time and there's enough snow for everyone, just not on the groomers. But with that, Team of Callus, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. YouTube really wants you to check out the video they're recommending at the end. They hand selected it for you.